Hello and good morning guys. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today is only Wednesday and we're taking this thing to get the level and the 37s put on it. So some things have changed. Friday, I was planning on going over to my buddy's shop and uh, using his gear, using his tools, getting this thing popped on. But as always, things seem to change. So now Friday, I've got to work. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. They did find a local shop with a little bit of persuasion to get it in today to get the level and the tires put on. But first what I want to do is I want to take a measurement of where we're sitting, front and back and overall height, uh, to see where we're at once we get the 37s on and once we get the two and a half inch ready lift uh, leveling kit on the front completed. So let's take a look. All right, so I found, you know, as level ground as what I can find in my driveway here. So let's take a look at where we are sitting right now in the rear. So in the rear, nothing is getting done except for the tires. So right now, we are sitting at, right from the ground straight up through, we're right at 44 inches to the top of the crease on the wheel well. So 44 inches there, and overall height, we are at uh, about 57 and a half to the box. So 44 in the back, 57 and a half. Let's go up to the front and take a look here. Okay, so in the front, we are at 42. So we're gonna be pretty much bang on level. And then let's take a look at our overall height in the front. I'm just gonna go to the sort of the crease here on the fender. We're at 54 and a half. So 42 basically, 41 and three quarters really in the front. So we do have, so we do have two, two and a quarter inches of difference from the front to the back. So when it's all said and done, she should be sitting pretty friggin' level, guys. So let's see what we're gonna get into here. I pretty much know that these, these mud flaps, once we cut the tire, the mud flaps are gonna rub right here. So these, these are probably gonna have to come off. I would think so. Um, if we can trim them, I'll trim them. But if uh, they gotta come off, they gotta come off because I'm getting husky kickback style ones anyway. We'll check out the valence. The valence, I don't think gonna have to touch the valence. Two places I think it's gonna rub because of using the factory tires is on the radius arm and on the sway bars in full lock is what I am thinking. So also an afterthought, in hindsight, I definitely should have got the, uh, the caster shims for making this thing easier to align just so the drive stays really, really good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gear it up the way it is and we'll see how it, how it goes. But if I need to throw those caster shims on, then we'll throw the caster shims on. But guys, remember, this is just temporary. This is just, just until, you know, Carly, BDS, you know, the, the good guys confirm the fitment on the 2020s that their kits will work. Once we know that, that's what we're going with. And I am in talks with a couple uh, wheel companies right now, so the wheels might be coming pretty soon. So let's see, if we are a little bit higher in the front, for some reason, we can always bring it up a little bit with our airbags, guys. Okay, let's get these tires loaded on. All right, guys, motor breath, we got them on. These things are, these things are quite big. <laughs> All right, the lift's on there, the ready lift. I'll show you guys the part numbers and all that stuff when it's all said and done. I'll give you guys like an overview of what the hell's going on here. But yeah, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go drop this truck off and come back and jump in the 350 and go do some work and make some money to pay.
Hello guys and welcome back. Look at that gorgeous thing right there. Wow, what a change guys. I am so happy. I knew it was going to look good. I didn't think it was going to look that good. Man, this thing looks ah, so good, so good, so good. Okay, so if you're stopping in for the first time, this is my 2020 F350 Platinum Power Stroke, of course. I've had this truck for three weeks to a month right now. I just got this stuff done to it. We've done some other things to it as well. Check out the previous videos. We got airbags on it. We put the gooseneck on it. We put the back, uh, the backflip MX4 bed cover on it. Uh, there's a list of things coming, guys. There is still a list of things coming. We are just getting started. But let's take a look at what we did here. And man, what an improvement. All right, guys. So in the previous video, I showed you the tires that I went with. But I went with 37, 12, 50, 20 Falcon Wild Peak AT3Ws. And they look fantastic. They look fan, fan, fantastic. Now, for the leveling kit, as I mentioned in a previous video as well, this is just a temporary thing to get me up to take a look and see if this is the final look I want or if I want to go higher. So we went with the Ready Lift leveling kit, two and a half inch leveling kit with the track bar bracket, uh, you know, the sway bar bracket drops. Obviously the uh, the pucks the puck there to raise the truck up. I'll show you the part number here in a second It's on the back of the truck, but man what a huge difference So with the tires and with the lift alone, we're looking at like four four and a half inches of raise So that's in the front in the back. It's obviously just the tires But to the naked eye we are sitting like perfectly level when I get back to the house. I will do uh, you know and after to see you know how high it brought it up uh, See how level we are sitting because if I need to I can put some air in the airbags and bring the and bring the The back end up a little bit if I need to but that will affect the ride quality a bit the airbags are right there hiding behind The tires, but man guys it looks so damn good. What a humongous difference I didn't expect it to look this good with just the factory wheels. Obviously you put a set of wheels on a truck and it just changes everything. But this looks damn good just the way it is. And man, it brought it up. Like, here's the mirror. You know, like look where this is. I'm five foot nine. I've got work boots on. Let's call myself 5'10". It brought it up quite a bit. You know, for getting into the truck, Obviously the power steps help because it comes down further, but you know, it's it's a ways up there right now Like we're looking eye level with the dash now like it it has certainly brought this truck up and man did it ever Ever make a huge difference in looks. All right guys. So here is the part number Right here for the 17 and up and when I got this kit I didn't even know if it was gonna fit I didn't know because I haven't seen anybody yet put these lift kits, these leveling kits on their trucks yet, the 2020s. So I didn't know it was going to fit. Well, it did fit. So inside the box, we do have the two front mud flaps. We had to get rid of those for now. I just ordered Husky kickback style mud flaps. So hopefully those will, will, uh, will help out a bit. And this is the old track bar bracket. So it came with the new track bar bracket, you know, the sway bar drops, the, the actual riser. It came with all that stuff. Now you see guys what I got in the back of my truck. I'm actually still using this truck for work. I'm using it for what it's supposed to be used for. This is all I can say. Wow, wow, wow. So I have not driven this very far yet. So I'm gonna jump in the truck, head down the road and grab a couple things. And then I'm gonna jump on the highway. We're gonna do some driving, see how this thing drives. So yes, I did have to take the mud flaps off. And guys, I did not get the caster shims. So I've heard mixed reviews from people that get these kits. Some people say that the, the truck actually lines up very well and drives great. And then some people say that uh, they couldn't get alignment and they had to put the caster shims on. I have not put the caster shims in this yet. I'll see how it drives and I'll decide from there. But as I mentioned, this is a temporary thing. I still do plan on getting a, either a full suspension system, a leveling system, or lift from Carly is who I've been talking to the most and guys 
I just put these wheels on and I just finally decided on a set of wheels. So we've got some wheels coming too. The tires will be staying, the wheels will be will be swapped out. All right guys, so I have literally driven the truck for, I don't know, two miles. You hear that? Nothing. It barely, barely, barely rubs. Like, barely rubs in full lock. Nothing. And the only place it does rub is where I said, on the radius arm and on the uh, sway bar. But okay, you know, here we are. 37s leveling kit. Does the engine feel sluggish? Does the power feel lost? No, absolutely not. It doesn't at all. Like, honestly, guys, I am not saying this just to say this. I'm not being paid by Ford to say this. I'm not being paid by anybody to say this. The truck to me honestly doesn't feel any different whatsoever. Ride quality wise, handling wise, or power wise. Like here I am in ninth gear right now and I'm at 1200 RPM. A couple fingers on the steering wheel going around sharp turns. The steering wheel is actually straighter now than what it was from factory. I'm definitely up here a ways, that's for sure. I definitely can notice that I am I am higher off the ground. That's for sure. I mean, you think about the tires and you think about the leveling kit, you know, the front is up like four, like four, four and a half inches is what the front's gonna be raised. I mean, I'm in 10th gear right now. 10th gear. And the thing is just cruising along, give it some gas and whammo. You can hear stuff in the back, sliding back so much power so yeah here we are going around a very sharp turn as you can see from the signs obviously i need to brake but man she handles great like it handles great the tires are very quiet you can hear a slight 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 hum but honestly like i don't even notice them like if i was to close my eyes and jump in the truck not knowing you know if it's lifted not knowing what tires are on it I wouldn't even think about it I wouldn't even notice it but I know they're there I can hear a slight hum very quiet so obviously I have not been on the highway yet so when I get on the highway I'm gonna get up to cruising speed you know see how it drives it doesn't really wander around the road right now at all now when I'm doing 70 miles per hour is it going to well let's find out I'm also going to pick, take out my speedometer app and see how far the speedometer is off now. Because I mean, I went from a 34.1 to a 37 inch tire. So that's gonna throw the speedometer off. There's no way around that. But I do have a little device that you guys have mentioned a million times to me that is arriving today. I just received an email from Amazon and the package is arriving today. Yes, it's the Forescan. So I got the Forescan and I'm going to be hooking up to this to do a couple things. Uh, obviously reconfigure the speedometer, um, get rid of that chime. When you uh, when you close the door to get the keys in your pocket and the horn honks twice, I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So stay tuned, I'll be making a video on that. But let's get on the highway and see how this thing drives. But man, right now guys, I am happy. Like very happy. The truck looks great, like it looks fabulous. And it's driving, I honestly can't tell a difference handling wise at all. I definitely can't wait to hook up my gooseneck and hook up a trailer and tow with this thing. But if it if it drives like this, I mean damn, I'm I'm very excited to see, you know, I'm gonna be doing an MPG run. Also I'll see how much difference the MPG is now with the 37s. Uh, I'll be doing you know that that uh, same test where I was towing my when I was towing my 2019 350 you know 18,000 pounds I'll do that exact same test with the 37s obviously I'll be putting air in my airbags I did before I'll be doing it again now that the truck doesn't have the rake you know the airbags are a must if you're towing if you put a leveling kit on your truck or a lift kit on your truck and you plan to tow you're gonna be doing the gangster lean guys if you do not put airbags on but anyway let's get on the highway okay here we are on the highway we're doing 70 miles per hour according to the truck let's take a look at what we really are traveling 
74 so the truck is off by four miles per hour now of course that will throw a huge wrench into your mpg test and all that sort of stuff if you're going by the truck and that could get you into some trouble with the uh with the 5-0 <laughs> with the cops so i'm going to bring it down bring this back up so if i actually want to do 70 miles per hour i need to be doing 65 you know 65 miles per hour on the truck will basically get me at 70 miles per hour so no problem no problem it's easily you know adjustable now of course i got the four scan coming so that will take care of that but as far as driving guys i mean you see it i'm just cruising i'm just cruising down the highway with two fingers on the steering wheel i'm not diving back and forth all over the road no issues whatsoever the truck is actually doing very good really not much difference driving wise at all there is a small little difference you can tell you know you're up here a ways and the tires are high so you do have a tiny 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 little bit of play in the steering wheel that it doesn't respond quite as much as what it used to but definitely i think with this new steering system that they have in these 2020s the electric motor that they have the electric assisted steering uh definitely is helping with that too it certainly is tightening the truck up big time but man guys this thing is driving great so i got the look that i wanted i didn't compromise ride quality at all i'm not swimming all over the road i'm extremely happy now this was a budget build like i said this is a complete budget build factory wheels and the ready lift leveling kit you know so for 400 bucks I got the look that I'm going for. Now, now that I've had this look, so I got the level, I got the 37s on, I can see how high it is. Am I going to go higher? Am I going to go to a four and a half inch leveling system? Or will I just do the two and a half, two and a half inch leveling system from Carly? I think Carly is gonna be it, guys. I'm really, really quite sure that it's gonna be Carly. So two and a half, four and a half, what's it gonna be I don't know I need to get my wife's input on this because uh, you know she needs to be able to get into this truck every once in a while it's definitely higher now than what it was before so four and a half we'll have to see I'll have to tow with this thing and then figure out if I'm gonna go higher or if this is high enough all those questions are yet to be answered but the questions that are answered is it drives great it looks great and guys i just ordered the new wheels so the new wheels are actually on their way they're being shipped out today they're coming from across the country so it might take a little while to get them but i decided on a set of wheels so stay tuned for the wheels that i picked and i mean this looks great right now but it is going to make such a huge difference once you guys see these wheels i love them i think you're going to be very happy with them but anyway guys when we get back to the host i'll show you the overall measurements and we'll see you know how level it is sitting to the naked eye it is sitting looks like it's sitting basically completely level but let's get back to the host and check that out so here we are we're back at the host now I'm sitting in pretty much, I think, like the exact spot of where I was before. <laughs> it's definitely higher, guys. Like, just walking up to the truck, you know, like that's, it's, it's up there. It's up there. But let's take a look at what we got for measurements. I went through my video, and in the back before, we were at 44 at the wheel and 57 and a half overall height to the box. So let's take a look at where we are now. We are at... 45 and a half 45 and a half so i really don't think i'm sitting in the same spot anymore because that's not that much difference we're at 59 to the box so that makes sense for that measurement but let's take a look at where we are in the front we were at 42 uh wheel and 54.5 overall we are at 45 and a quarter and we are at 57 and three quarters 
58 overall. So we're sitting like perfectly level. We are basically bang on perfectly level right now the way we are sitting. Excellent, excellent. Just looking at it, it looks like the back is slightly lower. The ground here is a little bit sort of humped right there, but it does look like the back is slightly lower, like just to the naked eye. But it's according to the measurements, it isn't. But if I want to, I can just put a little bit of air in my airbags and bring it up. But man, guys, what, what a difference. What a great look. But anyway, guys, there it is. There are the measurements. There is the leveling kit on the truck. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. It's extremely cold and windy. Again, guys, hopefully the sound's coming through pretty decent here. But uh, anyway, guys, you know, that's it. What a huge difference. Obviously, we have more things coming for this truck, like I mentioned. But for now, I'm very happy with the results. And yeah, it's kind of funny, you know, like I just put this on and now I finally decided on what wheels I'm going to go with. But anyway, guys, that's it. As always, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Stick around to see how this truck transforms even more. <sighs> but that's it for today, fellas. I gotta go inside and get warmed up. So you guys take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.